I always think of psych I always think of psychopathy sociopathic narcissists as like they're demonically possessed. There's there's I don't know what else to equate that to. Hey guys, the video starts 10 minutes into it because I had to share some something crazy that happened this morning and also just give you guys a little backstory about what's been happening to me this past week where things are appearing, disappearing from my, re, from my reality. So if you guys don't want to listen to that, just jump to 10 minutes where I get into Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. And if you guys are interested in listening, then keep on watching. Okay, so I woke up early this morning and yesterday I was out of town. So I've been traveling a lot to my parents and I was kind of worried about, I'm kind of worried about my car. Like I'm, you know, going, I'm keep, you know, it's like an hour and back. So it's like I'm driving like two hours, right? Every, like once or twice a week or something like that. Like I needed to change the oil. So I woke up early in the morning, took my car to this mechanic down the street, walked back, with a puppy and I was like, it's gonna be nice, it's early in the morning, coffee in my hand, really bougie, walking my puppy, all bougie and pink, get home and I'm all excited to sit down and start doing my videos, which I didn't get a chance to do. And I'm just telling you guys this really quickly and then I have to make another video for my other channel because this has to do with what I'm doing like in regards to manifestation. And then we're gonna get to Johnny and Amber. Um, so, I, uh, so the mechanic calls me like 10, 15 minutes later and says, I lost your key. I can't find your key. I don't know where your key is. And I was like, I only have one key for my car. So, and he's like, well, let me keep looking. He's like, I put it right on the table. I have no idea what's going on. This has never happened to me before. He has a bunch of cars. He's this, you know, mechanic that's been, you know, has had his shop for like 20 years. Like, this is not like some kid, he's like this, you know, middle-aged guy that, anyways, he lost my key. So I walked back, because I don't have a ride, and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna walk back, and he was like, can you come and bring your registration and your ID, because we need to like figure out, we need to like make, get you, we need to contact the dealership to get your, your we need to make another key for your car. Now, my BMW is, is an earlier model and everything's computerized and you can't just go into a dealership and say, I lost my key, can you guys give me a key? They have to send all the information to the headquarters of BMW or whatever is out of state and they have to identify my identity about who I am, that I am the, the actual owner of this vehicle and then a, a, a key needs to be made on like registered to the car like it needs to be like computerized you know to like every time i hit and i and i start the car it's like a serial number that comes up that's why these type of cars are very difficult to steal because you can't just start it without the key anyways so he ubered me there four hundred dollars he paid for the key he ubered me out back home and then i was just like in a really shitty mood i don't have groceries i don't have a car I'm charging my scooter downstairs in my garage right now so I can get around a little bit. I have this little scooter thing that I, I don't know if you guys know if I told you guys that last year for my birthday, one of the subscribers bought it for me. It's worth like $450, so at least I have that. And, um, and I want to talk about this like really quickly. I know I'm rambling on, but this is like really important. I'm going to make a separate video about this whole phenomenon on my other channel because this past week, things literally are appearing and disappearing out of my reality. I, this has never happened to me before. This has never ever happened to me before. And the way this guy was talking about how my key disappeared and he has no idea where it is, it's something that I have been experiencing myself for a whole week because I'm full on doing some crazy ass witchcraft, visualization, meditation, manifestation. Like I'm doing some crazy stuff here, you know, for clients, for myself. and. And I, it's like, I feel like I've mastered, like I've mastered it. Like I'm like, I feel like I'm like this, like the, like Harry Potter, like wizard. And I, I literally feel like I need to go buy myself like a wand. Like it's crazy. The guy, when I walked back to the mechanic shop, he was just like in disbelief. He's like, I left the key here and it's gone. 
And he's like, you were the first person here at 8 o'clock in the morning to drop your car off. Nobody was here. It's just me. I went, in, I went into the gas station, grabbed the drink, and I was about to pull your car in to work on your car because all the other cars that I have to work on, I'm waiting for parts. So I was just going to work on your car and then call you so you can come get your car. And he knows me. He changes my oil. And uh, the key disappeared like it's gone. I made also a video on my manifestation channel. I know I'm rambling on, but this is important because it's just like fucking nuts. Like I can't believe this is happening to, like to somebody else that has to do with me. Um, when my mom was in the hospital and I was thinking about like, I need to get a phone for my dad and I don't have time and oh my God. And the phone, my mom has a, had the phone, her cell phone in the hospital that I would call her on. And then my dad didn't have a phone. And then, you know, I was worried about my dad driving by, you know, himself without a phone because they're always together. So my dad doesn't have another phone because they're always together, right? And all of a sudden, AT&T sent me a fucking phone. Like, I have a video of that on my other channel, Manifest with Ellie. So some really weird stuff is happening to me, which I kind of want to make a separate video about that. You know what? I need to make a separate video about that and just put it here because it kind of goes with some of the stuff that I talk about on this channel too, that, you know, we are, we are living in a... In a um, we are living in like a video game. It's like a matrix, okay? And like when you start to fuck with it, things start to happen. Like you can actually shift and shape and change things in, in, your, in this dense reality. This is not real, you guys. This reality is not real. So I just yapped about that for seven minutes. I can see that it's on, the, on, on the screen. I apologize for that. But I'm really blown away about this because... When I was looking at him and the disbelief in his eyes and he was so sorry and he felt so bad and he just paid $400 to have my key made. Now I don't have a car for a couple of days. I don't know when it's going to be ready, when the key is going to be arriving. I have no idea. It's craziness. Um, I experienced the same thing this week and it's my birthday week. You know what I mean? It was my birthday was on the 18th, but I, I really celebrate the whole week. And then I celebrate again on the 23rd because on my driver's license, it says the 23rd. And so, yeah, I, I, I kind of go all crazy celebrating and doing stuff. And, and I've been just writing down and this, this video is turning into like my telekinesis abilities, I think. Um, I don't know if I could talk about Amber and Johnny in this video because I, I think it's just like, it's not too late. You guys have probably like clicked off. I don't know. Maybe you guys didn't click off. Anyways, maybe I'll edit this down, but I'm just completely blown away because when I was a little kid, I don't know, five, six years old, I remember clearly very conscious as a, as a small child that I would sit in my bedroom and I would try to move things in my room. Who taught me that? Who told me that? Nobody. Some reason I had this ability or I knew who I was as a child. And I would sit there and my cousins wanted to come and play in the room and I would say, the door is locked, you can't come in because I want to be alone. I'm still the same way, I love being alone because I get to like interact with like interdimensional entities and things like that. So when I was a kid and they, all these entities and stuff was always around me and they would give me information and I had always, I always had knowledge about family and matters and things. And I used to move things in my room. I would say, you know, I want, I want to wake up in the morning and my doll is going to be on this side of the room. And then I would wake up in the morning and my doll was on this side of the room. Um, you know, some of this stuff, like I don't really want to talk about because it makes me sound like I'm crazy as fuck. And people don't believe me. It's only when you live with me, like how my ex was really with me 24 seven for six years. And he got, he got, he really experienced what it's like to live with a witch. He really experienced what it's like to be with someone who has like, like supernatural powers. So, but this has never expanded into other people around this always in my energy field. But anyways, I literally just yeah for 10 minutes. I am going to make a separate video about this whole thing. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comment box down below. I don't know how long this video is going to be, so bless your hearts for listening to me. But I, so I got back home last night and I watched the Johnny Depp testimony. I don't know how many parts there is to it. I don't know if he's going to have another one today, but I watched it and it was a little cringe. But I have to say, after I kind of got over the cringe part of like, why is he so slow, made me insane. 
because I kind of relate to Amber in that way because she's kind of like my personality. I think her birthday is two, three days after my birthday. And so I'm really restless and I talk really fast and da 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 right? And so people that are like that, it makes me literally insane. Like I lose my mind. But the interesting thing about the testimony is that we get to see how Johnny is. It takes him forever to form a sentence. Uh, he's very slow reacting, very calm in demeanor, not so much shy. I didn't really experience energetically him being shy, but very like just, you know, he's not that kind of a guy to like show off and want to stand out or, you know, make himself important or, you know, uh, this, the self importance, um, energy thing. Like I'm, I'm famous and I'm an actor and I'm a celebrity and I'm a star. The only thing that he said was that I was basically Cinderella. And then in 0.6 second, I, I was like, Quasim Mo Modi, whatever the name is. Um, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? What he said. So it's like, he's like, in split second, I went from like being Cinderella to like, like, you know, being, you know, Cinderella in, in people's eyes. It is important for him to think that people like his craft because he wants to entertain. He loves children and he wants people to um, be entertained, you know, and, and he was talking about how he was inspired to play, um, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, the character because he was watching cartoons with his daughter for like a year or two before that script came. And so he had this kind of like an animated, like cartoon version of like this character and basically all the stuff that Amber had like accused him of or had said is not true and i told you guys the first video that i made i told you guys that johnny depp is going to win this case because um now i don't know if the jury is educated in this or not but i've studied psychology and you know i'm an actor and actors are very very observant we love to watch people i can sit and not even incorporating my psychic abilities i can within minutes figure out your personality you know what kind of person are you like I can I can see it because I'm an actor and thousands of hours of um lessons and exercises that I've done in acting classes and outside of classes where I have to go and observe a person sitting in the park and then come back to the class and act it out and Johnny um is that kind of a person. Johnny is the kind of person that is very intuitive with people and he can sit there and see the truth about people because he takes his time, he doesn't react, and he watches because he's, he's an actor. And that's like the biggest thing that, the difference between good actors and brilliant actors is like people like, actors like Johnny Depp or, or uh, Robert De Niro or Al Pacino, these type of people, they love to watch people. They're people watchers. And, um, and they sit and watch people for hours, like on the subway, like Al Pacino talks about going on the subway and sitting there and just like watching. There's so many different ethnic background, you know, languages, diversity in New York. And he really got to see how people behave, like, you know, Cubans and Portuguese or Europeans or English or American or Japanese or whatever, right? So people can see, even if the jury doesn't find him, like doesn't favor him, which I think they will, because that's what I said initially, psychically, I think he's going to win. He is very disappointed. And I know that he was massively in love with her because he left his, like, the mother of his children for her, you know, and legally married Amber Heard. He was not legally married to Vanessa. I don't believe he was. I think it was, like, common law marriage, because she's French, and I don't know if she, like, cared about that legality part of it. She seems like a free spirit. She's, like, an artist herself, like a singer, an actress in France, I think, if I believe, if I, if I, if I recall correctly. So, um... So Johnny Depp is a very observant person and you can see like the audience, us watching him on TV, watching the trial, can see how slow he is in regards to the way he communicates, the way he forms his sentences, how he really thinks before answering and Amber Heard is not like that. 
Amber Heard is just like talk, 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 me, 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 pressing, 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 just this kind of a, like, she wants to argue because she wants to argue. She's a narcissist. She's a sociopath. Um, she wants to push her buttons because as a narcissist, when they gaslight you, when they hurt you, when they belittle you, uh, abuse you mentally, emotionally, physically, and sexually, financially, when narcissists, sociopathic narcissists, because we have different types of narcissists. So I feel like she's a sociopathic narcissist. When sociopathic narcissists find a supply, like Johnny Depp is a perfect supply. He's so sweet and calm and he has already so many um, emotional, mental uh, issues about his upbringing, right? Because he was so abused by his crazy mother who he still loved and took care of, by the way. He housed her, paid her bills, you know, brought nurses to live with her, to take care of her, uh, paid for everything. Like, although the mother was crazy, like he still like, he still, he t every single person he had met and became friends with, 40 years later, he's still friends with them and he took care of them. And he like financed their lives and said, here, live in my penthouse and you can write your book or, you know, pursue your, your career. Like, I wish I had a Johnny Depp in my life. Like, it's insane. The guy is literally an, an amazing person. And I don't, and I know that this is not a show. There is not, I, I was wondering, I want, didn't want to make a video until I watched the testimony because I was wondering to myself, is he going to try to act? And I know he's an amazing actor, but I am telling you guys, 1000% he was not acting because he couldn't even form a sentence. This was not prepared. He, it was not prepared what he wanted to say. He truly spoke from memory. He truly spoke very honestly about his life, which is so embarrassing and sad that he has to open the, the closet and, and let all the skeletons out. Like, every single person has a right to their pri privacy and the fact that he has to do that just so he can clear his name and his children and his family because of this monster, Amber Heard. And I know yesterday or the other day, I was joking about, oh my God, they love each other. They should, maybe they should get back together. And I was really joking. And now I just want to, you know, uh, what's the word? Strike that comments from these videos and m the comment that I made. I didn't really uh, think of her as bad as she is. I know she has some issues and insecurities and control. She's like a control freak, psychotic, psychopath, narcissist, but she is really like a horrible person. So Amber Heard found the most perfect supply. Johnny Depp was famous AF. He's rich AF. He's influential in the in Hollywood and he is a man that she that was older than her uh 23 years old uh age dif difference so she was very beautiful back in in her day and now she's not she's all bloated and she looks old and fat I'm sorry she does and she was able to manipulate him with her sex appeal kind of makes me think of Jezebel. Like there's like a demonic entity in her, you know? I always think of psych, I always think of psychopathy, sociopathic narcissists as like they're demonically possessed. There's, there's, I don't know what else to equate that to because a psychopath is conscious of what they're doing. They're not crazy. You know what I mean? They're not, it's not a dissociative like personality disorder. They're very freaking conscious about what the hell they are doing. They don't give a fuck that they're doing it because they enjoy what they're doing. They get, so like a demon that, you know, like a, like a monster, like a vampire that sucks the blood until you die and then they stop. That, you know, when you watch vampire movies and the vampire is like basically drinking your blood until your heart stops. Like in Interview with a Vampire, we learn in the vampire movies world that if you, you have to stop, like Tom Cruise's character is like, you know, you have to stop drinking when the heart stops because like you're gonna take the death on, right? So I think of psychopaths, like narcissistic psychopaths, sociopaths as 
like demons, vampires, that as they're getting sucking the energy out of your fucking life, you know, financially, sexually, emotionally, physically, however they can get it out of you, right, to benefit them. I mean, I had somebody like that in my life for six years, uh, and I really want to make videos about this because I think this is so educational for all of us to watch this. And she came in. She's very intelligent. That's like another sign. She's very, very intelligent. She's very articulate. She's very intelligent. Uh, she's well-read. She was very beautiful. I don't think she was particularly a good actress. I think that she's very ambitious. She was very driven. She was very manipulative to get a guy like Johnny Depp not to sign a prenup and was able to get him to say no to his attorney so then she wouldn't have to sign a prenup and then they legally got married. That's some crazy shit right there. That is literally some crazy shit because these actors don't, don't have the right to do stuff like that. Like their lawyers and managers and agents watch them like a hawk because they make a lot of fucking money for everybody, for their team, for their agents, managers, you know, makeup artists, uh, wardrobe designer or whatever, like publicist. They can't have Johnny Depp like be taken out by some fucking 20 year old, some 28, 29 year old lady. So she broke up Johnny Depp's relationship with Vanessa. She didn't sign a prenup. She moved her entire fucking friends and family into his penthouse uh, for years without anybody having to pay for food or rent or any shit like that. Went on lavish vacations, bought everything she wanted. And then at the end, when the truth started coming out, because it's like she wanted to sleep around, but then have Johnny Depp as Johnny Depp, my husband because it looks good in the industry, but she was still fucking other people and she was fucking other men, right? So, uh, but she wanted to keep him. So you guys, Amber Heard literally reminds me of my ex. My ex, when I met him, also was extremely handsome, very intelligent. He manipulated me, his mom manipulated me. Oh, you're the one, and I'm so in love with you. He was still sleeping around, dating other people, would lie to me. He got physical. He was like an, he was like an angel, like for first like month or so. Bought would bought me things. It, he never paid for it, by the way. He his manager would do it, and uh, just treated me like a princess, put me on a pedestal, and then little by little, it started coming out about he was a drug addict and he was a user and, and he was bringing drugs into my house when I was going to set working. Uh, he was sleeping with multiple people because I was going to the hospital with all sorts of problem, woman problem, okay? Thank God I never got an STD, but um, you know, once or, once or twice I went through his phone and it was really, really disheartening to see all these messages to like 50,000 different women on Tinder and Instagram and to his ex-girlfriend. Like it, it's like Amber Heard reminds me of my ex. So people like that, they don't go for love. They don't go for connection. They never fall in love. They don't have the ability to fall in love. They don't have the ability to care. They look and see what can you bring to the table. How can I use Ellie? Oh, Ellie has a really nice apartment. She seems like a really nice girl. She has a nice job. She works in Hollywood. He wanted to become an actor when we met. Oh, she, you know, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, I'm a good girl. I don't sleep around. I When I start dating somebody, I just, like, don't date anybody else. It's just, like, the way I am, right? And, and I'm powerful. And I'm a witch. And I changed this person's life. He went from a drug addict living in a garage, uh, a filthy garage and a gay man's home to making $10,000 a month. And then when he got everything he wanted from me, my ex in six years, uh, the narcissist, then he left me. So, um, <laughs> you know, it's like, these are the people in society where they use their looks or these tactics and strategies and they look for victims, just like how serial killers or rapists look for victims. Like who is going to be a, who's a good candidate for me to abduct or kill or, you know, it, there is a madness behind it. Like, you know, they study 
I mean, there are people out there that do it on a, on a whim, but there is a madness to it. Like, um, a lot of serial killers talk about how they people watched. They would go to the park, they would go to the movies, they would go to restaurants, and they would watch, like, you know, a girl um, that would go to the gym every day around six o'clock, and then, and then, and then would see a pattern. She comes and goes by herself, and then they figured out, okay, so, you know, this is a good candidate. She doesn't have anybody. No one's coming with her. She leaves alone. She goes home alone, and then they would, like, kidnap her and murder her or whatever. So, these are the type of people that make people like me not want to socialize and, and get out of my apartment anymore because I just feel like, um, you know, the, the wolf, the, 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 the wolf that's in sheep clothing in our society. And it's so very scary that someone like Johnny Depp thought that he had fallen in love and that he had met, you know, his dream girl. I told you guys, like, I feel like, I think he did say that in his testimony, like she was perfect. Like, this is everything she, he ever wanted. Like, he, she liked the same type of music. She was intelligent. She was sweet. She was kind. Uh, she's beautiful. He, he called her, like, a just this beautiful creature. And then they, when they did the scene and they kissed, he, he felt something. And she came to his trailer and tried to seduce him, wanted to sleep with him. And he was like, it's not a good idea because there's Teamsters outside. Like, she played him. She played Elon Musk. She's played James Franco. Like, those are the people that are on her side. So she used her sexuality and her intelligence and her psychopathy to manipulate people and use people. But I know that the, the jury is going to be smart enough to see the truth. And I'm excited to... I'm excited for Johnny to win. And I know Johnny is going to win. I just want to kind of give you guys kind of um, what's going on and, I, and I'm following this case. And the reason I want to talk about this case on this channel is because on this channel, I talk about stuff that is like criminal, right? And she filed criminal charges against Johnny when he was out of the country. She filed criminal charges that I am the, I was the uh, um, victim of sexual and domestic violence. She accused Johnny of also sexually assaulting her when she didn't like want to. I mean, there's some crazy stuff that she's accused him of. And, and they're still gonna be, I don't know if they're gonna play this audio tapes or not. <clears throat> so this is crazy, but I feel like this is important for all of us to watch because don't get fooled by someone's looks or what they are showing you. Because at some point, the demon is gonna show you it's going to reveal itself. If a person has a lot of demons and they're and they are after something that's not there's no integrity and there's no sincerity in what you know their approach to a relationship with you, it's going to come out, right? It's going to eventually come out. So always just be cautious. Don't trust people. And uh, my grandfather was a doctor, and he used to always say to his grandkids that you know don't even trust your own eye something like that, you know, not to make you feel jaded, but always just think the worst, I guess, because people always show you that they don't have good intentions. You know what I mean? Anyways, I know I rambled on. I want to make this video and I am so baffled by my key disappearing. Um, I need to figure out how for things not to disappear. <laughs> There's things disappearing and things appearing. It is really, really crazy. I am going to make a metaphysical video. Uh, I do want to put it on this channel. I'll, I'll try to figure out how to make it so it's going to match this channel so you guys can watch it. Because when I put videos on the Manifest channel, it's a new channel and it doesn't get that many views. And I just want people to like learn about this stuff. You know what I mean? Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this content, please give it a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another update. Bye.